Hello and welcome to CGD Games. My name's Lee, aka CGD. And today we're back on Fernbus Coach Simulator. And on the back of my last video, where we checked out Stephen's so called, which turned out an absolutely stunning route, best route ever, which was an actual Flixbus route pulled from their website, I decided it would be great if we did some more of these because I really enjoyed making that video, knowing that I was actually driving a Flixbus route. So, still in Germany, uh, I found a little route that shouldn't take us too long, and we start off in Mannheim at the central bus station, uh, and we make off one stop at Heidelberg. On the actual route, there's two stops, so unfortunately, in fact, there's three stops in Heidelberg, but there's only one stop on the game for Heidelberg. So we'll make the one stop in Heidelberg, and then we head down over to Karlsruhe, and then we finish up in Strasbourg. So I've set it the uh, the route number, if you want to do this yourself. I will leave all the information for this route down in the description below. Uh, the route number is 108, and that's the 108 to Strasbourg. And we end up in Strasbourg, obviously, with a few stops. I'm using the Man Lions Coach C 2nd Gen. The actual uh, pickup time is 21.05, but obviously I've given us two minutes, so I've set the time to 21.03. Today's date, which is time of recording, which is the 22nd of May, and I've left the weather to sunny. So without further ado, I think we should get started and see how this uh, little route turns out. I'm really excited for this. Uh, I really, really enjoyed recording the last video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it too, as much as I did recording it. It was a lot of fun, and I'm going to do a few more of these. Uh, if you do want to, you know, have a look yourself, just go to Flixbus and go to their bus tracker section on their website, and then open up the map on in Flixbus. And just see if you can find a route. I mean, there are obviously some destinations on the website that aren't covered uh, in the game at all. Which is unfortunate. But, as you well, as you can see with this route, um, I'll put some lights on because it is going dark. With this route itself, um, you know, there was three, three stops in... Um, Three stops in Heidelberg, but we can only get the one in the game. So sometimes you have to make do. So it's not 100% accurate, but this is a route that a flexible driver would take. So let's see how we get on with this one. And hopefully it's as stunning as the one that Stephen found us. So away we go. Let's get out of here and head to our first stop which is in Mannheim it's only five kilometers away so not too far to drive to pick up our first load of passengers which is great well, let's uh, out the bus this is always the best view coming out of a busy junction like this you can get a better look left and right for me there we go out onto the street fingers crossed we have no uh, dodgy AI like we did on our last journey that really did upset me because we were having such a great journey as well uh, when the AI crossed our path not once but twice in, an as, in as many minutes as well so I am hoping that when the patch does drop um, that is fixed because it is annoying when you, you're trying so hard um, to get a clean run and the AI goes and ruins it for you. It is a bit of a choker. It really is. So, here we go anyway. On our way to pick up our passengers. I am in the wrong lane. Luckily, it is quiet. Why the sat-nav is asking me to be in that left lane when we need to go straight ahead, I do not know. We'll just keep an eye on these traffic lights, making sure that they... Uh, 
Don't catch us out. As you see, we're in uh, twilight hours here. The sun is setting in Mannheim. The city's about to come alive with its bars and clubs and restaurants. We aren't going to be around for any of that as we make our way to our first destination. So yet yeah, two stops before we get to our final destination. I don't know how long this is actually going to take. I think on the website... Uh, sorry, not on the website. When I set the route up, the game said round about three hours in-game. Um, so what's that? You, you're looking at just over an hour, I reckon. Depending on the AI traffic, as we all well know. Uh, that can be tricky at times, as we proved on the last video. But yeah, if you go onto the Flixbus website, uh, it's really easy to use if you go onto the tracker side of things. Uh, and if you've, if you've got any suggestions for me, any routes that you'd like to see me run, uh, just drop them in into the, uh, the comment section down below and I will take a look at them. And, uh, don't know, oh, you're not going to let me, are you? You, you? Absolute swine. Go on. Is he just going to be a complete tool and sit there now and expect me to get round him? With the possibility of me taking his front bumper off as well. There. We got round him. So here we go. Here's our first bunch of uh, customers. Passengers. There we go. We'll pull in nicely there. Sticker in neutral. Stick the handbrake on. And we'll get some doors open as well. And we'll go out there and greet them. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to Flixbus. I'm your driver, CGD. I will uh, open that luggage door for you so you can all uh, pop your luggage in there. Right, sir. Well, let me just look. How are you doing? Good to see you, my friend. You're with us the whole journey, I see. Good, good to see. And you as well, madam. All the way to Strasbourg. How are we doing, sir? Yeah, Heidelberg. That's another good thing as well. Because you've set the route up yourself and you've researched it, you do know all the stops. So this young man here is asking to go to that place. I know for a fact we are not going there. Yes, you can come with us. About muscles here. Strasbourg. Yep, you are coming with us, sir. Um, Carl Shrew. I think we're going there, aren't we? No. Yes. And you as well. There's me jumping in the air with excitement. There we go. You as well. Yes. You as well. Quite a lot of passengers on this first one, isn't there? Only one, uh, no, you're not coming with us, love, sorry. Um, and you as well, there we go. Right, so that's everybody on board. Fancy coming all this way down to the bus station, to the bus stop, and not having the right ticket, you crazy fool. Right, off we go. Close the doors. Right, have we got everything on that should be on? And we'll put the announcement on. We've got our lights on. We've got the air condition on. I think we are good to go, ladies and gents. So uh, let's stick her in drive. Take the handbrake off. And we will be on our way. The Flixbus there just behind us. It looks like we are taking a right here to go round the block. Not so much round the block, really, is it? It's just... Like a very large roundabout, actually. Ooh, that was close there. That was very close, but we didn't smash that driver's car in. I hope you enjoyed the uh, best route ever video. 
It was a stunning route, especially the second half. I did speak to Steven after. Um, he left a comment on the video and a uh, little message in Discord. He was really happy that uh, we did it for him. He was over the moon with it. And he was telling me it was, wasn't just the scenery that made it uh, a great route. It was, you know, it was just from the get-go with the car park at the beginning. It was so, so unique in its architecture. The scenery for one, just the whole package, he said, he just found it a really, really nice drive. And uh, I agree with him. I really enjoyed making the video. Um... I mean, it's doing some good numbers over on YouTube as well now, so I'm really happy about that. So thank you very much to Stephen for his contribution. Like I said, if you would like to join the Simulation Gamers Discord, I will leave a link down in the description. It's where we chat everything simulation, gaming, and just life in general. It's a really, really friendly Discord. Everyone is absolutely wonderful in it. They really are a friendly bunch. I cannot fault them one bit. I've, I've made some really, really good friends in there as well. Uh, there's some other content creators in there, like Tintin57 and the Fat Cat Caravan and Codex Gaming. Uh, all really good friends of mine that I've made from the Discord. And there's even more content creators in there. See, just by joining, you, you, you're opening up your horizons to even more content creators as well. Here on YouTube and Twitch. So definitely worth joining. It really is. Like I said, I will leave that link down in the description. It'll be nice and easy for you guys to find if you'd like to join it. So, only 37 kilometres to Heidelberg, which isn't too much of a stretch, is it? Like I said, this is an actual route, all barring a couple of stops, which obviously aren't covered on the in-game map, unfortunately, but this is as close as I could get it. A lot of the routes that I did actually research uh, for this video was very similar. Um, one of the towns or one of the cities would have more than one stop. But we're following it the best we can. So this route now, at time of recording, would actually be leaving in a couple of hours in real life at five past nine. So you know, it's mad to think. Oh, sugar's lights gone green. I'm still sat here rabbiting on to you guys. It's mad to think that somebody in a couple of hours' time will be actually driving this route that you're watching right now which uh, fascinates me. It's always that concept of, you know, we, we live in our little bubble day to day and there's so much stuff going on around the world that we just don't know about. People taking bus, train, plane journeys. It's just, it's just mind boggling. And I often think about it, but it does start to hurt my brain after a while. <laughs> that there's all this stuff going on in the world. You know, while I'm working or sleeping or watching YouTube or playing games or creating content for you guys. You know, there's all this crazy stuff going on in the world. We've got a speed limit here of 70, which we are... Which hasn't changed down on the sat-nav. We took a little bit of a... Just check my mirror there, because we are going to need to get in that left-hand lane. But this will also be a good test as well, which I have never ever had an issue with, with the day and night cycle on the Xbox. As you can see here now, uh, the, the light is fading, the sun is dropping below the horizon, and you can see there in the mirror as well. And it is looking really good here on the Xbox, it hasn't got that... The sky is dark, but everything else looks like daylight is hitting it. It really does have that nighttime effect. Make it easy around this little section here as we 
cross over the road. We're only 21 kilometres away from picking up our next load of passengers here in Heidelberg. Uh, we are... Uh, looks like we are there. We're supposed to arrive at 21.52. Now, on the actual... Actually, I haven't got that information in front of me, unfortunately. I was going to say, I wondered what time we were supposed to arrive on the real timetable. But this is the stop where the, on the actual route there are three stops in Heidelberg. One at the pre-way point, one at the central train station and one at the post-way point. Uh, and once they leave the post-way point we go on to our next destination. But for us today it's just the one stop in Heidelberg. Let me know down in the comments down below if, you, if you're going to recreate this on your uh, copy of Flixbus. Flick, I keep calling it Flixbus. Fernbus. Why I keep calling it Flixbus, I never know. I am going to jump those lights. Passengers didn't uh, even notice. They're too busy doing what they're doing. We're going to take a left here. We're not going to jump these reds, though, so don't worry. There we go. So these these ideas of adding the real routes has really piqued my interest again in the game. Um, if you are a follower of the channel, you'll know I have been a little bit upset um, with the developers of this game and the publishers as well. Just the way that they've gone about things. Um, I didn't agree with it and I have uh, made those opinions quite vocal on a couple of videos. Um, it's never been the fact that I hate the game or dislike the game. I love the game. I think it's a great game. But for me, my argument was that the DLC uh, that they released about a week ago for the new buses uh, shouldn't have been released before the game was fixed, especially for the PlayStation 5 players. Um, they really have been left behind. But the fix is coming, the patch is coming, and fingers crossed... PlayStation 5 players uh, will get a lot of their issues fixed, as well as us Xbox players as well. You know, we've still got issues here on, on our version. But yeah, that, that, was, that was my argument that um, the DLC shouldn't have come yet. But the, that's by the by, it's done. The DLC is out there now. Um, I'll be honest with you, I did buy it. I created content and then I refunded it. But that's me. That was my prerogative. Um, I wouldn't slate anyone else for doing it. Uh, I got the content out there onto the channel and I did refund it. Um, I just wanted to show people what... What really, what they weren't missing. Um, for me, it's just another bus with a new logo down there on the steering wheel. Um, it didn't really handle any different to any of the other buses, it didn't, they didn't really look any different, bar a few, um, a few bits and bobs on the buses that looked a little bit different, but nothing really that stood out when, you know, 95% of the time, you're in this view anyway, um, you get a slightly different cockpit, and a different badge on the steering wheel, like I said, but everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Um, if you're enjoying the new buses, hats off to you. Um, I totally appreciate that. And uh, good for you. But for me, it was a, a no-go for me. But what I am looking forward to, like I did say in the last video, is uh, the possibility of more, uh, more destinations to travel to. Even though I've hardly unlocked a lot of this map. <laughs> But, um, as I've always said, I, I do love the journey, not the not the destination. I love seeing the detail that they, they put into the game. I really do. And a nighttime drive as well always looks better than a daytime drive. Uh, because of the lighting, that's, that is mostly its issue. This stop here looks very similar to where we uh, just went round before, wasn't it? 
because we had to go around a loop like this to pick up our first lot of passengers. I don't know if you just heard that about two or three seconds ago, there was like a someone breaking wind sound. Now, is that a sound glitch or is that actually supposed to be a fart? Can someone confirm or deny that is supposed to be a fart? Is that supposed to be a passenger breaking wind on the bus? Because I'm not entirely sure. There we go. So we'll pop her in neutral, put the parking brake on. And we will open some doors as well. Now, did I try this on the last video? Can we? No, we can't, can we? We can't lower this bus. How are we doing, people? Good to see you. There we go. Let's get this open. How are we all doing? Right, it is a little bit dark here, so we'll try and make out who's coming and who isn't. So you would like a ticket. He's going to uh, Heidelberg. We're going to Karlsruhe, actually, which is our next stop. So, yes, you can have a ticket, sir. There we go. A ticket for you, Squire. There's your QR code. Nice doing business with you. Uh, hello there, madam. How can I help you? You would like to go to Strasbourg. So, luckily for you, we are going there. There we go. And we'll check that for you and get you a QR code on the dot, there we go. Your friend here already has a ticket as well, so we will quickly check her in. There we go. And you would like to buy a ticket as well, sir? Now you would like to go to Strasbourg as well? No problem whatsoever. There we go, we'll check that, get you a QR code. Quick snap, there you go, boss. Um, you would all go selling. I, are we going? I don't think we're going there, young man. I think you're going to get a... Uh, uh, yeah, I thought so much. Why I was questioning it when I created the route myself, I do not know. Uh, that one for you as well, madam. We're not going to Lille. Yes. Come on, get a grip, woman. Um, where would you like to go? Carl Shrew. Yes, you can come there with us. Not a problem. I'll just scroll down here and find that destination on my uh, very old mobile phone here that Flixbus has uh, given to me. I mean, look at the bezels on this. They're massive. There we go. A ticket for you, Squire. Uh, one for you as well. We'll quickly check you in. And we'll quickly check... No, no, we're not going to Basel, are we? No, you ain't coming, love. Yes, you do have to look for the right bus. There's quite a few there trying it on, trying to get a free ride with us. They would have been going completely the wrong direction, so why they even thought of uh, trying, I don't know. But anyway, let's get these doors shut and head off to our next destination, uh, which is Karlsruhe. So once we set off, we will find out how far that is. First of all, we need to put some announcements on for our new passengers. They need to know all the information. Let's stick her in drive, take the handbrake off. And maybe as well, we could, uh, for the first time today, hit start ride. And I've just got out of my seat. Right, come on, Lee, get with the program, son. Right, here we go. Let's see how far... This next destination is going to take only 69 kilometres. The biggest journey will be from Karlsruhe to Strasbourg, I think. That's going to be the biggest one. Nicely done there. That was really well done round that bend. So on to the next place, Karlsruhe, for more passengers. We'll have quite a full bus by the end of this journey, I would think. We will. It's a very, it's very much of a, a city drive, this, isn't it? For the first good half of it. A lot of city driving, getting around the, the city streets. The traffic, not too bad at this time of night as well. Um, the traffic is time dependent on this game. So if you are driving between sort of 7 and 9 o'clock in the morning around some of these big cities, you are going to get stuck in traffic. And then the same again in the afternoon, sort of between four and six. 
it's going to be really busy with traffic and pedestrians, even though there are no pedestrians. <laughs> So let me know as well in the um, comment section, what do you play Fernbus on? Are you an Xbox player, a PlayStation, or have you been playing for a few years now on the PC? And which the uh, Xbox and the PlayStation will be coming in line with in the next few weeks, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm really looking to see what that 5.1 uh, Unreal Engine 5 looks like on 5.1. Like I said in the previous video, uh, Mr. Water has um, has had a look at it for us. And he says it, it does run well, but obviously that is on a PC. Completely different ball game once it's been ported over to the consoles. As we head out of uh, Karlsruhe now. got a speed limit of 70 but we do have some lights ahead and we're going to turn right here only just under 60k to go now oh, we're just heading out of Heidelberg aren't we heading to Karlsruhe I do apologize I'm getting all confused behave yourself everybody the police are next to us but the only problem with obviously these night drives is uh, there's not much to see, is there? Apart from the night sky up there. Which is nicely done, might I add. Right, here we go. Taking a right here. To see... Destination there, Mannheim, which we are not going. We left Mannheim earlier on. Oh, I, just, I had visions of we were going to hit him then. I really did thought we were going to hit him. And straight on, and we got some more red lights. We'll take it nice and slowly, no need to rush. Come to a stop. Just there. Come on, lights. We haven't got all day. It's currently 22.13 in the game, nearly quarter past ten. Um, the game is saying we should arrive in Karlsruhe just after ten past eleven at night. I think we will get there a little bit quicker than that. We generally do. Only 56 kilometres to go. These are taking a while to change, aren't they? Not exactly a busy intersection. Away we go. They have eventually changed. Off we go. People yawning behind me on the coach. I should look actually just to see how many passengers we do have on. You can tell, can't you, from your little PDA? I'm sure you can. Press the wrong button. We picked up 11, dropped off 6, picked up 7. Um, and then we're picking up 12 and dropping off 5. You do the maths. But we'll be dropping off 19 in Strasbourg in total. So. It's quite a fair few on the bus. Going to Strasbourg. As we get on the motorway now. Which should uh, knock off some time here as we can put our foot down on the accelerator as we make our way to Karlsruhe and our final destination, Strasbourg. Yeah, we are on. It looks like we've got some roadworks coming up here ahead of us. A lot of concentration is needed at night time driving. Oh, we got a police stop as well. And we're going to have to do a police check. Returning right here. 
They're always a bit of a nuisance, these are. I just... I don't know. I don't see the value in, in doing this. I can see the realism elements on it, but... Because this would happen, you know, a coach driver would have to pull over like lorry drivers do and have certain checks done. It's the fact that it's just a text screen. It sort of takes that realism away at the end of the day. There is a police car pulled over there to give you that sense that, you know, something is happening, but... There we are. We'll just continue. We'll skip all that. We're not really fussed to see how well or how badly we did. We generally pass them nine times out of ten. Ten times out of ten. Well, nine times out of ten, there's that one percent chance, isn't there, that, you know, that a passenger hasn't got um, a seatbelt fastened, which... How you're supposed to correct that, I don't know, actually. If you're supposed to go round the coach and check the passenger's seatbelts, is that a thing? Am I missing something? Let me know down in the comments down below. I really would appreciate that. So, 34 kilometres to go now before we reach Karlsruhe. And then set off on our final leg of this real Flixbus route. Like I said, I will leave all the details down below in the description so you guys can recreate it at your leisure. Let me know how you got on, how you enjoyed it. So there isn't an awful lot to see scenery-wise. That is the only problem with this. That is an issue. And I've got our foot pedal to the metal at the moment. 100 kilometers an hour. I'm surprised we've not had any complaints yet. We are getting off here. So on the off ramp. Slip road, whatever you want to call it. Only 19 kilometers away now. Taking a right at this junction here. We can avoid the traffic light situation there. There we go. Wonderfully done. And we'll stick to this right hand lane. According to the satellite navigation unit. It would be nice as well, um, maybe in a future update, if, as well as the XP, because if you remember when we all first started playing this game, or if you're just starting now, there is a, a levelling up system. And it only goes to level 4, and once you've got past that level, that's kind of it. But it would be great if they brought the levelling system back. Because XP's okay is a good measurement, you know, to see where you're up to, but... Some kind of levelling system would be great. Back at an endless levelling system, so you can, It's a real good measure to see where you are to your friends. But at the moment, all we have to go by is XP. It's not really a good measurement of how much driving you've been doing. These lights are taking an awfully long time to change this evening, aren't they? Come on, off your pop. TGD's got to be places. Oh, approaching onto the other side of the road there. As we uh, get into the correct lane, only nine kilometres to go until we pick up our passengers. Our third lot of passengers. This will be our last stop until we get to our final destination in Strasbourg. You can see it is... It is 10 to 11 at night here in game, so the streets are really quiet traffic-wise. You don't really see a lot of traffic hanging around. You get the odd car like we've got in front of us here. 
So there is that uh, element that, you know, you're not really going to get stuck in a lot of traffic jams coming in and out of these cities and small towns. Just stop here again. Another red light. We're getting caught with them all, aren't we, on this journey? We're at 1.9 hours as well, according to the trackometer. So only 2.1 hours and we will have to take a break. Fingers crossed we don't have to take that break before we get to our final destination. I'm really interested, actually, to see how far it is from uh, Karlsruhe to Strasbourg. I know it is a lot of uh, motorway driving or autobahn driving straight down to Strasbourg. Once we get out of here. Fingers crossed there isn't a lot of passages. I can't remember what it said on the uh, on the phone when we did take a, a brief look at it a couple of minutes ago. Is it six we're picking up here or six we're dropping off? I can't quite remember. Some kind of emergency there. I can hear the sirens going off. Another set of red lights. Good lord. We are getting caught by them all, aren't we? There we go. They've changed already the minute we pull up. I'm going to swing a left. Any moment now we should see our passengers waiting to be picked up. Take a right here. Sort of twists and turns. Get to the right side of the road. Yep, there's about one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was quite a lot, actually. Oof. Keeping us busy tonight, aren't they? All right, so let's get her in neutral. Get the old handbrake on. There we are. Right. Hello and welcome to Flixbus, ladies and gentlemen. I'll uh, open the luggage door for you and we'll get you all booked in. You're just hanging around for hanging around sake, are you, my dear? Because you don't seem to have one of the symbols above your head that requires me to check you in for a ticket. Have we got any ticket sales? No, they're all express check-ins. Excellent stuff. But this will be nice and quick. So you all, in theory, should be Strasbourg. Nice and simple. No one can get this wrong. Surely not anyone is stood here thinking they're going to Basel or Berlin or anywhere else different. How you can get this wrong, I will never know. Say goodbye to your loved ones. I'm saying as if it's their last ride ever, aren't I? Oh, there we are. Here's the first fool. Thinks he's going to Luxembourg. Not today, fella. Not today. He's always dead jolly, that uh, NPC. Gritzy. He always says gritzy. So it's the same same NPC here. See if he says it. Hello. No, he just goes hello. Is that everybody? Yeah, just you, you crazy fool. Harry Potter there thought he was going to Luxembourg. Not today, my friend. Right, let's get that door closed, and we will get on our way and see how long it's going to take us to Strasbourg. So uh, we'll close all the doors, and we will get the announcement on for this final lot of passengers. And uh, we'll stick her in drive. There we go. And off we go. So 186 kilometers um, to Strasbourg now. But like I said, it will be mostly um, autobahn slash motorway driving. Shouldn't take us too long at all. We'll soon get that shaved off our total journey time there is a depot here as well look we can uh, drive into it could be a home base let me know actually it'd be interesting to know where 
Uh, you started off the game. I, myself, mistakenly, started off in Paris. Yes, I started off in Paris. And it was a real struggle to leave with all those buildings in the middle of the road. Do you remember that? All the buildings that were in the middle of the road and we, we couldn't leave Paris in certain areas. It was a complete nightmare. It really was. But yeah, I mistakenly picked Paris. And it's an absolute nightmare um, to get out of as well. When it's really busy. It's, um, it's a real nuisance. We're going to take a right here. We would like to share some Already we've not four kilometres off that uh, journey time. So we're going to arrive just before, I reckon, two o'clock in the morning. It's now uh, ten past eleven. But I reckon we'll arrive, I will go for half past one in the morning. Take your guess now. Let me know what your guess was in the comments down below. 182 kilometers left on the clock and it's 10 past 11 at night so let me know what you think your guess will be i'm going to go for half past one in the morning i'm not going to go crazy with the accelerator try and keep it nice and steady I'm not speed too much so these uh good people behind me complain i've just remembered as well i've not started the ride again so we've only done it once I was looking actually through the timetables um, of some of the journeys on the actual website and they really do, you know, they, they drive through the night, these coach drivers do. So hats off to those guys that um, who really do put a shift in. They really do. Is it a job that you could think you could do in real life as well? Like a, a coach driver? Or would you rather be a heavy goods vehicle driver? You know, driving throughout Europe, dropping different cargo off in a in a lorry or a truck. Let me know in the comments down below. For, I don't know which one I'd rather do. To, to be honest, I think I'd rather do the lorries, the heavy goods vehicles, if I was completely honest. I really would. I would rather do that. Then you won't have people coughing down your ear just like that gentleman's done to me. Even still, you get to see the width and breadth of Europe. You know, up and down your country. There are Flix buses here in the UK. Um, somebody in our Discord actually posted a picture of one that he spotted in Manchester not long ago. I'm not sure what the, the wages are like for a Flix bus driver. Maybe it's something I should investigate and get back to you on for the next video, eh? I will find that information out, I don't know. But uh, I'll have a look into it. It should pay quite well, I would think. But there's, I also didn't know that there are Flix, Flix trains. I was going to say Flix bus trains, but there are Flix trains as well. Um, once you start searching the website for journeys... And they give you train times as well, and there's great big green trains that you can um, that you can ride on up and down Europe as well. So that's interesting, and they even take you to Disneyland Paris, which I didn't know. But my experience mostly um, of being on a coach is school trips and uh, going to somewhere like Alton Towers in the UK or Blackpool when I was a lot younger. And a coach journey would always take twice as long as, as any other form of transport would, whether it be car or train, because it was pretty much the cheapest. A bit of a roundabout here. Hopefully. What are you talking about? What did we do then? We must have bashed something. I didn't feel anything. 
uh, within a vibration of the controller at all. So, I don't know what happened there. We must have, uh, let's say, at the side of the road there, we must have gone off the side of the road just, just a smidge. We're on 2.6 hours now. We're indicating for no reason whatsoever. What's this here? What's going on? What's this place? Is it a... Uh, oh, it's just a bridge. I, did, I wondered then. I thought, what the hell's going on? Oh, 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 I know what it is. We are going through a checkpoint, aren't we? Obviously, we're heading out of Germany here now. That's where we're up to. So we head to Strasbourg. Pull up here. Chuck me little card in. There we go. And off we go. Onto the toll road. Now we should be able to uh, pick up some speed and really start shaving some time off this journey time now. We've got a speed limit here of 50, but we ain't going to break that as we head into a national speed limit here. There we go. Now we can really put our foot down, put our pedal to the metal. And uh, really start making some time on this journey. I do enjoy in real life actually nighttime driving. I always remember when we drove back from Disneyland Paris back to the UK. Uh, we left Paris, I think it was around about two, three o'clock in the afternoon. And then obviously we crossed over at Calais, back over to Folkestone, uh, using the uh, Eurostar, uh, Euro Tunnel on the train. And then drove from Folkestone all the way back up to Manchester. And obviously it was night time driving all the way back on that journey, because I think it was around right about September, October time. In fact, it could have been December at that time we did that journey. And I did the whole drive from Paris to Manchester. Uh, I think it took me around about 10 hours, 12 hours, something round about that time. But thoroughly enjoyed it. At not one point was a board or... And we had a couple of breaks where we stopped off for a nice KFC, things like that. But these coaches now... Um, they're made for comfort, aren't they, for the drivers? They've got these great big cockpits. With all these gizmos and gadgets surrounding them to make the journey comfortable for them and easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just went to itch my nose then. <laughs> we lost control of the vehicle. Only 113 kilometres to go now. I don't think we're going to need to use the rest. Um, have a rest at all. The petrol station there on the right. It will have a rest area as well, but I don't think we're going to need it. We're on three hours now drive time. So I think we're going to be okay. But at the time of recording this video as well, uh, we today hit 700 subscribers. So uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who has subscribed. It's been a crazy few months, um, if I'm completely honest. I really only started to really concentrate on this channel at the beginning of March. And it's just gone from strength to strength and... I really can't thank you all enough for all your support, all your love, all the new subscribers. I think we went from 600 to 700 subscribers in less than three weeks, which is absolutely crazy. So judging on that growth, um, we should be at 1,000 subscribers in about nine weeks' time. <laughs> but I can't see that happening. Um, I, when I can remember when I got to 500, uh, I got to about 525 subscribers 
and I seemed to be on 525 uh, subscribers for about a week, two weeks. It just didn't budge. It didn't budge an inch. Um, oh, blimey, here we go. Here we go. Just avoid that young man there. Uh, but that's that's those are the moments as a content creator you've, you've really got to dig in and uh, start coming up with new ideas you know you take it your channel's got a little bit stale and you've got to start to come up with new ideas new content and i'm always trying to uh, innovate and come up with new ways to entertain you guys all the time obviously we've got the ted character that's just finished his flicks bus career and he's moving over to um bus simulator 21 to start a career over there start setting up his own business over there so ted will carry on but i have learned with ted not to push him too much because i do find that ted's a bit marmite you either love him or you hate him you know some people come to the channel for the serious side of things like i'm doing now or for when you know when i do live stream i do loosen up a bit um there is a bit of language in there as well, a bit of swearing. I, I try and have a laugh and joke. But when I'm doing things like this, I try to be informative um, and try pass things on that some people may not know. And just to give, put a different slant on the game as well. So, you know, if it weren't for Stephen um, for offer suggesting the best route ever, I would never would have had this idea to do the real routes. So, it's like I say, it's always trying to be innovative and changing things up and trying, th trying new things. If it doesn't work, so be it. You move on to the next thing, you know. So, yeah, if you are a content creator, don't be scared of trying new things and sticking your toe in the water. Um, no one's going to judge you on it. No one's going to say anything. I've tried lots of different things in the past and I am quite lucky that I have found my niche of, you know, simulation games on console. That's that's what I do exclusively here on CGD games. Um and I've got I could if I really wanted to. I've got so many simulation games on PC like Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator, but I know for a fact um, that those sort of games are they're just covered by bigger channels who have been doing it a lot longer than me and for me to try and dip my toe in it and, and at the time where I'm trying to grow the channel um, to a thousand subscribers is for me isn't the right time um, to be doing that sort of thing I need to be doing things that people want to watch that isn't really covered out there on YouTube While the whole time, once again, I'll, I'll say the word being innovative and changing things up and trying new things. So it is a balancing act. Anyway, that's enough about me. Back into the game. Only 63 kilometers to go now until we reach our final destination. We should get a fair good bit of XP out of this. That's what I was a little bit disappointed about on the last one when we did the best route ever. They only got something like 560 XP, which was, I was really disappointed in, um, if I was completely honest. I mean, I'm not sure how long this video has been going now, but hey, I don't edit these down. I keep them real time so you can see the journey step by step. Uh, you don't miss a thing, so you know that I've not cheated and you no, know, paused it and got away for a while. I do sit here and do the journeys bit by bit. I do have um, an idea of possibly making Fernbus my next eight hour shift as well. If you're not sure of what I'm talking about, uh, a few weeks ago I did a live stream starting at eight o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. And I streamed till 4 o'clock in the afternoon doing a full tram shift in uh, Vienna on Tram Sim. It was a great day, I had loads of fun. Um, we had an absolute whale of a time. And uh, I'm thinking of possibly doing it with this game. 
Let's just slow down, let this crazy fool do his uh, Fast and the Furious tricks. I don't want him smashing into me and knocking XP off. So, this is where we find out how your little bets have gone. So, it is now quarter to one in the morning. We're 34 kilometers away. I said we would be there for 1.30 in the morning. What did you put down in the comments? Did anybody get it spot on? No cheating now, I don't want you waiting until we reach the destination and writing down that exact time. Because I'll know, I'll know. I'll find out. Down to 50 here on this off ramp. speeding slightly let's turn that indicator off that is annoying we might just make it on the rest time as well i think we're on 3.8 hours so it is going to be close on that front as well as we take a left here we're heading to Strasbourg. slightly go up the curb there but no one on the coach noticed Another 50 kilometers an hour limit here. Should go up to 100 now as we've just... No, it's gone up, no, it went up to 60, then down to 50 again. And we'll stick to this 50 limit. That's what it wants us to do. That's what we will do. Wasting my time. Looks like we've got a toll booth to go through here. That's why it kept us down to 50. I'm going to go in the lane that it's telling me to go into. There we go. As we head in. Bot on. Only 16 kilometres now. We are on 3.9 hours, so it is going to start mithering me shortly to have a break, and then the passengers will start mithering me. But we ain't going to take a break. Not this close. It's not going to happen. I will get deducted on my rest quality. But not to worry. As we head in here, switch lanes over there. Gonna get us to slow down again shortly, isn't it? There we go. Now is that that tunnel there on the left? Not for us. Let's switch lanes again. There's nothing coming up on the left hand side. Now it's gonna get us to go down to 50. We get caught by those speed cameras, do we? And now the mithering already, it literally flicked over to four hours and the mithering. Listen, sir, we're six kilometres away from the destination. I ain't taking a 15-minute break now, sunshine. It ain't happening. Not six kilometres away. You'll survive. Go and get yourself a glass of water or a cup of coffee and make do. You'll be fine. Take a left here. We should see shortly. There we are. There's a cathedral ahead of us there, nicely lit up in the background. That is nice. I can already see. Stop. Here it is on our left. As we swing in. we are and we take another left some couple of bicycles having a fight over there for some reason <laughs> they, 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 they were, rewind it have a look two bicycles were having a fight <laughs> right, so there we go uh, we'll open the doors 
uh, I will also turn the engine off as well. Right, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a Flixbus real route completed. So we started off in Mannheim at five past nine in the evening, and then we went to Heidelberg, and then to Karlsruhe, and here we are in Strasbourg on our real journey with some frogs as well. So yeah, let me know what you think to that route down below. Give it a go yourself and get back to me as well. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really does help the video get out there into the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. That really does help the channel on our way to 800 subscribers. And hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content lands on the channel. So thank you very much. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.